And we are back. Yes, we are. With another episode of His and Hers. Mm -hmm. My name is Tuan. This is my beautiful wife. Sim, nice to meet everyone. And thank you, viewers, loyal viewers, for returning with us. And new viewers, welcome. Yep, yep. And while you're here, right, let's get our plugins out of the way, (laughs) honey, okay? Uh So, yes, please like this video, guys, right? Subscribe to the channel, not only our YouTube channel, Mm -hmm. right, but also our channel over on TikTok TikTok? at His and Hers YT, right? Please uh, turn on the notification bell. Yep, get that Mm -hmm. ding uh, when we post new content, right? Comment. Mm-hmm. Like, Definitely make a lot of comments. Right, hit like that it. thumbs up, guys. Right, mm-hmm. smash that thumbs but uh, thumbs up button. All right. Yes. And then, like, yeah. Oh, uh, just real quick, once again, guys. Thank you so much for obviously coming out and checking out our channel. Right. Yes. And uh, hopefully, uh, you guys can get some more uh, more truths here. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, today we're going to do another fun video because we're going to be doing another reactionary video. Yeah. Right. Seems like our reactionary videos have been getting some views. So, mm-hmm. um, uh, I know I enjoy doing them. So hopefully, well, you I guys enjoy us doing they them. Like us interacting with the reaction so let's keep keep it rolling yeah uh, yeah it, it's actually some really i think some actually really useful uh information mm-hmm. uh that we can also you know all kind of kind of decipher and kind of learn about once we get these videos up and running you know yep. so all right uh okay. let's get started today we are doing uh kevin sandals video mm-hmm. right i think this is the very first Kevin Samuels video that we'll be reacting to. Yep, I think so. I, we haven't done his yet. Yeah, if you guys haven't heard of Kevin Samuels, uh, he's yeah. one of the main reasons why I, you know, got into the whole Manosphere mm-hmm. RP community, right? Um, he's called one of the godfathers mm-hmm. of the RP community. Uh, he's not the art godfather, like in terms of like Rolo Tomasi. I really consider, you know, him as the godfather, right? Mm-hmm. But Kevin Samuels is right there as well, too. But Kevin Samuels for sure is blowing up. I mean, he's the guy right now. Mm-hmm. Okay, so he's the, the the big the big G right now. Okay? okay, and the title of his video that we are going to be reacting to today is "Only Upper Class Men Need Apply." Oh, all okay. right. So this seems going to be like a high value man video. Let's uh, under let's see what's going on. And this here. is just part one as well, too, guys. Okay. So, so it must be a long multi part series. So mm-hmm. it looks like we're just reacting to part one. Okay. okay. Here all we right. Go. Let's begin. I'm going to be defensive about I'm not being it. Is that an issue here? All right. How are y'all ladies doing tonight? Yeah, how are you doing? Have you guys ever watched my show before? I've, I've seen some. Good. That's good. It's better that you're done. What's your first name? <laughs> India. 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 Zena. Zena. Marissa. Marissa. Nina. Zena, Nina, Marissa. Okay, so real quick, uh, just to get some context, guys, uh, as you can see, Kevin Samuels, he's an older gentleman, Mm -hmm. right? Um, He has kind of defined, since we're doing a video on only upper class men need apply, Mm -hmm. he is kind of coined the the high value man term, what's been going on all. Mm -hmm. He's the one that kind of like coined it and kind of brought it to the forefront. Mm-hmm. It looks like that these women don't want to be on camera, so that's the reason mm-hmm. why he's showing yeah, all the these screenshots only, of their yeah. pictures. They look obviously young, mm-hmm. beautiful girls, right? They're I would definitely say not late twenties, uh, early thirty. Yeah, I don't. I would say because they're you know they're you know women. We once we put a lot of makeup, you know, you can't really tell most of the time with our age if she takes good care of herself or, you know, now with makeup you can enhance and you know highlights and do all that stuff. So. Yeah, no, for sure. Until they sit, tell their age. But from looking at the picture, she's probably like, I would say, mid-20s, yeah. early 30s okay. at most. Yeah, but I just want to provide some content, uh, you know, context. Uh, obviously, Kevin Samuels dresses really nice, really mm-hmm. respect him. You know, he's always on point in terms of how he dresses, how he tries to uh, keep his appearance. Mm-hmm. Guys, we talk about this all the time. I just want to bring that up real quick because a lot of men, especially high-value men, right Mm -hmm. they don't think we talk about this many times fitness their appearance you know they don't really seem to take it as a high value Mm -hmm. right they think oh i can just have a buttload of money i can just have a lot of fame a lot of status i can dress whatever you i want to Mm -hmm. guys i'm gonna say it right now don't get me wrong like maybe this is gonna be like controversial i get it if you're like a rap star a celebrity you know artist right Mm -hmm. You can dress a certain way. I, I get that, right? Because you, you want to obviously represent the industry that you're in, mm-hmm. right? But as an older gentleman myself, like an older man myself, like at a certain point, mm-hmm. you got to start dressing like a certain way, more respectable, mm-hmm. yeah. right? Like I can't go out about and like be wearing like, you know, sweatpants and like sneakers and like mm-hmm. skinny jeans and you know what I'm saying? Like, there, I, it, it's just say it's there's not, certain 
whether it's a man or a woman, there are certain clothes that are appropriate for certain age. Yeah. Just say that. I, I'm just okay. saying, like, we, we live in this day and age you know, where, guys, age. where, like, we think fashion, mm. we, we're just kind of throwing out everything that is traditional mm. is what I'm trying to get at, yeah. right? It's like, he's wearing a suit. I'm wearing a suit. I get it. You don't have to wear a suit every single day, right? Mm. But as a gentleman, as an older person, as even a man, a man-man, right? Like, not a young boy, not a young kid. Like, you got to start dressing your age a little bit. And you can't just, like my wife says all the time uh, when she holds uh, the females accountable, right? Mm -hmm. You can't dress like a 304. You can't just go out there and dress Mm -hmm. like a schlub. Man, we can't do that either. If we want to hold ourselves and then we want to hold women to a higher standard, Mm -hmm. we got to hold ourselves to a higher standard. Uh, That's why I just said it goes both ways, honey. So just, like, look at your appearance. Like, really work on your clothes. Really look on how you appear. And, like, you might be a, you know, a sport jacket, jean type of guy and boots. You might be a nice pair of slacks and a polo shirt type of guy. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you don't got to wear suits Mm -hmm. all day long, right? But you look childish when you just show up rolling up and like it's all baggy pants and baggy sweats you know look like you just didn't even take any time or care to put yourself together yeah i just wanted to make that well there's clear, a lot of ways to, you, know? you know so man we, we gotta we gotta look at that as an important aspect of our complete package too india i forget that but uh <laughs> yeah my name is kevin sanders i'm a image consultant life coach um but let's be honest, most people know me because uh, I have a show where I talk about relationships and things like that. Um, how old are you? 24? 24? 26? 26? 22. 22. So nobody's even over Young 27. So none of y'all are in the danger oh, yeah. zone. The danger zone is what I call the area the between 27 and 35. That's the age where I think women need to focus like a laser on the outcomes they want in their life because so much changes for women uh, in that in that period, but mm-hmm. is anybody married? Anybody have children? Okay, let's let's talk about this danger zone concept real quick, mm-hmm. right? Because it 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 he clearly defines it. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is the reason why I really like you know what about him in terms of him like putting different categories and really structuring his thought process. Mm-hmm. But we've talked about it before too. In essence, yeah. the danger zone. So my wife can have context, guys. The danger zone is obviously that age between twenty seven and thirty five, mm-hmm. right? And it has to do with biology. Well, if you're going to have kids, and we always said that. I mean, hey, I mean, if you want a child, a healthy child, you know, even doctors will tell you too. I mean, yes, you're going to try to debunk me, but a woman's body, okay, at that age between 20, say 25, under 35, that's a, you know, okay zone for you to have a child because, you know, your your body is matured enough and everything else, you know, and when you can produce because we only have a certain amount of, you know, eggs and all that stuff, you know? Well, it's not, it's not like a man where he could easily be like 70 years old, 80 years old and still get a girl pregnant. Well, let's, yeah, no, that's, that's that's 100% correct. But let, let's, let's be honest. Like in this modern day and age, we've kind of pushed the age back a little bit. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Because we've, we've talked about this in our other video, right. Mm -hmm. But we, we've set the standard as an adult being 18 years old. Mm Mm-hmm. Right. And in the kind of the modern concept of like getting married and then having kids, most people don't even really, really consider it until you're in your mid 20s. Let's be honest. Right. Well, yeah, because you sort of feel, you know, you're more matured because I mean, 18 to me, I find it's too young. 21. I mean, you're just literally just going to college and halfway studying to college or whatever you're doing or just getting out of your parents house. You know, like, still discovering the world. Like, like, and, you know? and, and, and. You're not mature yet. And, and, and no, no, no diss to my wife, but, but, but this is a modern concept. Mm-hmm. Back in the day, men and women didn't move like this. Mm-hmm. There's a reason why cultures, like still some cultures, like you look at like, you know, the Spanish, Mexican culture, mm-hmm. right? Why they have the coming of age party for their daughters at 16 years old. Mm-hmm. There's a reason for it, right? Uh, you know, my mom. And my dad married at a very young age. We talked mm-hmm. about that in another video, well, right? That's back then. And look at how many women, because their body's not matured, honey, at that young age where they lost 
they had a lot of miscarriage because our body is not. No, that's that's not true, honey. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's not true. The reason why back in the old, you know, the, wherever you come from, the reason why you have miscarriages is because of no medical science. But if you think about modern medical science nowadays, if you're in your, you know, 18 to 22 year old phase, you can have a kid. No problem. Right. I'm not saying that that is ideal, guys. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that. In this modern concept, mo this modern day and age, we have pushed the the the, the date of birth, right? Uh, uh, you know, obviously for women to have kids back and back. And so I want to uh, make a point of that because mm -hmm. it's not really biologically true, mm -hmm. right? I've said this before, like as much as it might make people feel like a certain way, like I've, I've triggered my wife about this before in, on, in past videos, like – Technically, biology dictates that when a female is having her period, she can have children. And no. females have their periods at a very young teenage age. It doesn't matter. 13 to 14. It doesn't matter. Our body. I'm, I'm not you're... saying that that's the ideal time. It's like the beginning of the race and the end of the race, right? So if you want to say 16 is the beginning of the race and the end of the race is 40 years old, it's somewhere in the middle is the best time to do it. It's just that in this modern concept day and age, we've pushed that day age back to like 27 to 35. No, I think around, I would say around 24, 25, that's a good age for to have kids or be married or whatever else. Because like you said, when you're saying, okay, yeah, you know, women, we have our periods at a very young, early age. Well, guess what? It doesn't mean you're going to, you're capable of having a child because your body is not matured. Okay, I'm going to tell you that right now. Doctors have explained it and everything else. Just because we have our period, honey, doesn't mean you're equipped to have a child at that young age, whether you're 16 or whatever else. I, I, maybe 18, 19 above. Okay, maybe. I, but I, I still it. don't I still don't consent because you know what? You're not matured. Okay. Your body's not my matured. My whole point is you just proved my point, which you, you said, you just said, right? 24 to 25 is the ideal age. Yes. And I agree with you. So I, you just I prove, you younger. just proved my point, which is mm -hmm. that unfortunately in this modern day and age, the ideal range has been moved from 27 to 35, this so-called danger zone that Kevin Samuels is referring to. Mm -hmm. And what I'm trying to tell you is 27 to 35 is too old is well, what I'm trying to I tell you. That's why I just told you 24, so, 25 is a good and, age. And, and what I mean by too old is that, okay, if you look at phases, right, 16 to 20 is too young. Right. Twenty one to twenty five is ideal. Mm -hmm. Right. Twenty seven to thirty five is less than ideal. It's not too old. Like you're not you know, it's not too late, but it's not ideal. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, anything thirty six onwards mm -hmm. is too old. Right. So all I'm trying to say is not that, you know, we disagree. All I'm trying to say is that the modern concept of when uh, women should have kids have been moved by a decade. Is all I'm trying to say. Yeah. Well, I'm, right? not, I'm not disagreeing with you. I only disagree with you on certain things. Like I told you, our body, just because a woman has a period or a young age, doesn't mean she's equipped and ready to have a child. Okay. That's what Biologically, she is. No. What we can disagree, what we can disagree on, we can't disagree on that, honey. That's what I'm trying to say. Biologically, mm -hmm. she is. What we can agree on, which you and I do agree on, is that it is too young, mm -hmm. from a maturity standpoint, mm -hmm. right? From being ready. Physically, which I agree with you, like I wouldn't want any woman having kids at 16 to 20 years old. Mm -hmm. Right. I think unless unless you're 18 to 20 and for whatever reason you have the ideal situation where now you can get pregnant and have a kid. There really isn't any ideal reason for you no. to have a kid at that young of an age. No. Right. That's like another child raising a child. And I disagree. Right. But. So. What we agree that like 24 to 30 years yeah, old, I right? Agree. 24 to 30 years yes. old is bam, it's kind of that sweet mm -hmm. spot, right? Mm -hmm. And then have it kids is, is when you want to have it. At 25, boom, few years apart, then have, have another, another one. one. That's yep. fine. That's what I mean. Because you're, then you're still under 35. You're raising your kids. You actually yeah. can enjoy it. I just want to make healthy. I just want to make sure that we, we differentiate that because, like I said, the modern concept still agrees with Kevin Samuels, mm -hmm. right? That 27 to 35 is still okay. Right. It's it's on the tail end. That's the reason why he calls it the danger zone. Mm -hmm. But he's saying like women has to focus like a laser. Right. Because okay. 27 to 35, you're getting to. I'm just saying 27 to 35, you're starting to really push yourself to okay. the late age. OK. 
Ready oh. to start eating healthier? More commercial. Commercial, give Meet me one second, Kachava. guys. Kachava is the world's... At a time when you be turn 50 years old, what do you want life to look like for you personally? Personal life, not your money and travel and all that stuff. What do you want your personal life to look like? I Meaning your romantic relationships, children, where you're going to be, what are you going to be doing? For me, ideally, um, I would like, I, I like to travel a lot, so I would like to be somewhere, uh, you know, warm, maybe in Spain. Have with who? With who? Um, this is difficult. I don't really believe in marriage. I don't believe in marriage, uh, so whatever happens, happens. I do believe in, like, adoption, so I would love to have a real kid. kid. Mm. You don't want to, you just don't want to give birth? I don't mind giving birth. I'm, so what I'm asking is, what do you want, not what do you mind? Well, I feel like what I want changes all the time. So I, you know, I, I go bit by bit, and I don't ever try to like keep myself in one little spot. Like this. Is okay, I don't want now. it to go too far. A couple of things I want to remind us, honey, is make sure we remember these conversations because this is a part one. Mm -hmm. Guys, we'll probably be reacting to part two afterwards, mm -hmm. and part three, and part four, and so yeah, forth. Right? One, yeah. Great. So this is just part one. So remember the kind of like all these conversations. Yeah. Okay. Two. Her attitude mm -hmm. is unfortunately the the common attitude of the modern woman, yeah. right? Where it's kind of like live life on no type of direction. Mm -hmm. It whatever happens happens. Yeah. Right. Uh, if if a so man she's not really ready to settle down in one place. She's like, well, I'm still wanting to travel. I still want to do things. Yeah. If he doesn't want our you know our own by you know to. If she doesn't want to give birth, it's okay, too. We can adopt. Well, I'm sorry to say, if a guy is going to spend that kind of money, if he's supposedly upper class, he's going to want, he's his, going own to want kid. his own biological Correct. kid. Come on. Yeah. My, my point is the modern female has been allowed to kind of have this free spirit, mm -hmm. right? They, they, they've been allowed to not have, like, any type of goal direction. Mm -hmm. Short of go find, you know, go to school, mm -hmm. get your degree, and get a job. Right. Mm -hmm. Short of those three things, right, of going to school, getting a degree and getting your job, they aren't really told to have any other focus. Mm -hmm. Right. And then especially when it comes to finding a mate, mm -hmm. a man. Right. Yep. They're told, like, don't really even bother looking for one. Right. Mm -hmm. And so it's crazy as her answers to him sounds. Right. Mm -hmm. It'd be like me, guys, if, like, if, if, if you said if you asked, you know, if you asked me like, hey, Tuan, in five years, where would you like your business to go? And I told you, I don't know, you know, yeah. just, hey, if we're successful, you we're successful. No, you're not, you don't really have a purpose. Yeah, you don't have you're, a plan. You're just like, whatever. You don't have any, like, know, idea of, like, what you need to goes, improve on. You, know? you don't have any idea of, like, you know, what, where you need to go to, like, improve your things, what things you need to work on. Mm -hmm. How are you supposed to accomplish that goal, this outcome, right? And then on top of that, she, she didn't even have a goal in mind. Nope. And that's why you look at... Kevin Samuels like, hmm, okay, well, you're 20, what, 20-something? I think she was 20? 26. Yeah, tw yeah. mid-20s, whatever, mm -hmm. and you have no goal, and you don't want to settle down. You just want to, you know, have fun and go on vacation. Yeah, yeah. she's on the tail end of kind of that early yeah. period, too, and at 26, and well, she still has no goal? I haven't seen her face yet, so I don't know. So yeah. I don't know. Watch Kevin Samuels. If he's, if he's going to lean back, he's like, yeah. You know what? Well, I mean, she, we she's saw gonna a, she's going to be by herself. Well, we saw all her the images or earlier. Yeah, yeah, but, but I mean, the, the generality the generality consensus is that they're all pretty attractive young girls, mm -hmm. right? Young women, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So that this is the other thing. I kind of want to stop calling them young girls because no, they're they're, they're mid twenties. They're they're they're, mid -20s. They're, your, they're young women, right? Yeah. Women, right? Like if you told a twenty five year old man, hey, you know, like what's your job? What's your career? Right. Like, let's say let's say I was interviewing a, a potential mate for these women. Mm -hmm. Right. And I was like, hey, so, you know, what are you doing right now? Are you going to school? What kind of job do you have? And the and, the you know, the man that I'm interviewing for these women, it's like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, uh, I'll okay. kind of if the job comes to me, the job comes to me. Yeah. Uh, well, how much money do you plan well, to good make? Good luck on that one. These women would be laughing at these dudes is what I'll be telling. It was what I'm trying to tell you. They'd be like, this dude has no ambition right like that's the word that all these no women always purpose no goals right no nothing. they're gonna look at them as a loser yeah well and, there you go and, and i guess that's what i'm trying to tell you is that as a man especially a high value man i'm looking at these women answering this question as a loser she's like i'm like how are you gonna be a capable wife to me 
if you have no purpose mm -hmm. and you don't even know what your purpose is and how to get that. That's so, true. Okay, let's keep right. going. Honey. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm always going to want. Because I know when I'm 50, whatever I'm daydreaming about right now as a 24 year old might change. 50, what does a personal life look like? At home with your cats. Meow, 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 meow. See, I just, I called that out. Cat woman. Secure meaning what? What kind of if you secure the cat? So any children? No. There's you, your cats. So no children. Oh, no. Both women. I called it. Okay. No, no. Both said some type of pet, dog or cat. Uh, like. I want to be somebody's dad, fifty-year-old wife. Um, I want my kids to be gone. <laughs> she's the first life. one that says she How wants to be a wife. I'm so I know. Oh, so okay. she's the oldest one, twenty-six. Uh, how many kids? So if I don't find, I always said I wanted three. So um, I want two, and if it's my not yeah. too much overload, if I can what? do a third, I'll have three. So somebody's wife with two kids. Grown kids. Actually. Grown kids. What do you call grown? I just just eight to just five. Right. Sorry. So on, on well, she's fifty. So Remember, he's saying at fifty years so old. You wedding pictures. Start having, get married and start having kids because you do that by fifty. You have to have your last child. By 31 to be out of the house. Mm -hmm. Math. Is, see, I'm big on math. math. I'm kind of the same. I do want to be married with kids. I don't know if I necessarily want to retire here. Um, How many kids? Probably about two or three. Maximum. Two or three. Yeah. Which one? Depends. Like, I want a girl and a boy. So if I have a girl and a boy, by like two. And you want two? Um. Well, I really want. I want it five. But like. I'm see, that's what I'm trying to add. I get I, it. I, I want three. Okay. But, you know, but you said you also wanted to be somebody's bad wife. Do you want to okay, so this is the other thing I've seen, if I've noticed kind of yeah. common with the modern woman. And one thing I love about my wife is she doesn't do this. When I ask her a question, mm -hmm. she gives me a straightforward answer. Yep. Right? Like if I ask her like, hey, we're eating this tonight. Sounds good? Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? Or hey, what are, you know, do you have plans today? Yes, I'm doing this. Right. Like these women are so like loose with their answers. Right. Mm -hmm. How many kids you want? Well, I want five, but well, two, they're beating around two the or three. They're sort of right. Beating around the bush. Uh, I don't know if I want to live like like I said, they're, they're they're so unsure of their life, like what they want. Well, and you'll what they see do. Kevin Samuel. He's going to get upset later on. He's like, you know what? You women don't have a sense of direction. You're just, you know, you, you, you want all these luxury stuff. No, but so you guys are, are you know. So, so, so the great thing about Kevin Samuels, why he is such a, like a master at this. Mm -hmm. He asks these questions, right? Mm -hmm. Because he's an image consultant by nature. Right. And so he's asked these questions to see what the goal that you're trying to reach. Mm -hmm. Right. The goal, the outcome that you're trying to look for. Right. And so for him as an image consultant, he can help you reach that goal. But what he's these come. These women are beating around the bush. But, they don't really have a goal. But the only what, goal is. But what he's come to find. Right. By asking these questions with women, because he did. He did this with men. He was an image consultant for men. Of I course. Know. Right. Mm -hmm. But what he's found that when he did these questions for women is that they, in essence, in a way. Uh, in essence, uh, what is it? They, they. I'm trying to find the word, but the word that is that I can think. Only thing word I can think of is they. They rat on themselves. They snitch on themselves. Mm -hmm. In essence, they they Give show themselves away. In <laughs> exactly, a way. they show that mm -hmm. all their faults, mm -hmm. right, by answering so incorrectly. Okay, that's what that's what makes him such a you know a master at this technique, right? Because all he's doing is asking them question, and pretty much they're walking into the fire, right, by asking mm -hmm. you know by answering. Work. What percentage of the family financial load do you want to have to be responsible for for a lifetime? Mm, this is a very oh. good question. Meaning, for meaning, for yeah, meaning you don't, you can't, you have can't, to be. yeah, have to able be, to. Not, not able to, not able to be. You got to get it. You got to make it. What percent do you want to have to be responsible for for you, your children, your husband, everything? Oh. I don't want to have to be. I want the man to be. Able okay, if you don't get married, what if you don't get if married? If you don't get married, what respond what what percentage of your financial fam financial load are you gonna have to be responsible for? I'm gonna have to be responsible. For hundred percent. Right. So when you get married, what percentage do you wanna have to be? I don't want either one of us to, to have to be responsible for all of this. 
Do not answer though. See, when I ask you, if you don't get married, you click. Yeah. I guess she doesn't make when sense. When I ask about marriage, you can tell me you want to be somebody's bad wife or kids. When I ask you about the money, it gets real vague. See, no. This is the problem. The the modern woman has been lied to, mm -hmm. and they've been lied to in the sense that they've been shamed, right? So, women, I'm I'm talking to you right now, right? You've been unfortunately indoctrinated since your birth. This is the modern woman, not not my you know my 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 wife's generation, right? But millennials, Gen Z, right? You've been taught, you've been indoctrinated that if you say that I want a man to take care of me, mm -hmm. right, or I want the man to be the you know they support me the most, yeah, you yeah. don't want to say it. you're you're mm -hmm. shamed to say it. You can see it. She her, you can see it. Her hesitation in answering that question. She knows the answer. She wants to say, hey, once I get married, I want my husband to take care of everything, 100%. And I just have the kids, and I raise the kids, and I stay at home, mm -hmm. which would make her the happiest. Well, at that certain age range, you know, once the kids are grown and you do your thing, you know, when they can yeah, somewhat take care of themselves. We talked about it. Like, God, women, you should not be shamed for that, no. right? Like, taking care of children is, like, a difficult job, and actually— the most important job when you think about it, right? Like, obviously, yes, the man has to play our part, and we got to support financially for the kids, right? But you staying at home and being nurturing to them, feeding them, taking care of them, and like I said, women are the first teachers of the truth mm -hmm. to the children. That is just as important, right? And so it's funny to me. I just want to reinstate that again. It's really funny to me that this, this you know, these last two generations mm -hmm. have been indoctrinated, shamed, to not even being able to answer it. Yeah. It's like going against your own, like biologically, she knows what the answer is. Mm -hmm. Like what makes me happy as a woman would be to stay home, have kids and be a mother and be nurturing and be loving mm -hmm. to these kids and to my husband. But we, we've shamed women in believing that in this day and age so much mm -hmm. that they can't even answer that question. Nope. Right. Well, we'll see. So what do you want to be? I mean, honestly, what do you to, do? You want to have to work? Here. I, I don't want to have to. No. Okay. To okay. So but then, to but doesn't matter if you want to. Do you? But if you don't, and she has so to say that she wants to, so that way she doesn't the like. Oh, you you're just a freaking gold digger, you know you. It impacts the family. So what impact do you want to have? Do you want your money to have on your children and and the family? Less than half, and I say less than half because I just want less to than half meaning forty nine percent. I'm going to get very specific, so we might as well just stop dancing around yeah. numbers. Men think like this too, guys. This is not a Kevin Samuels yeah, thing, gonna, it right? So Any man that's matter. worth his salt and understands like okay. what the cost of life is understands this concept. So thirty five percent. That's more than twenty five percent. So if you sat down with a table with three legs, okay, if I remove one leg, can that table stand? No, so if you so if you stop with your thirty percent, thirty five percent, the family falls. So you yeah, want to? No, no, but see, you don't want to have to be, and that's the thing. Yeah, if you so see, she she once again, guys, the the the, the shaming tactic of the matrix, right? Mm -hmm. The shaming tactic of this modern state that said, "Hey, women, be do not try to be dependent upon the man whatsoever." Right. It's it's so ingrained into you, modern women, that she has to come up with a lie. She's lying right now. She's capping right now. She had to say 35 percent because like, oh, that sounds like a good number. Right. My husband's taking care of 65 percent of the bills. Right. So I'm still doing my share, especially if I have to take the care of the kids and everything like that. Right. Thirty five percent. But see, women, you guys, unfortunately, don't think pragmatically as men do mm -hmm. right like men because we have to hands ha we know we have to handle the financial load mm -hmm. right we understand the concept that like hey we got to take care of the majority of it if if we don't take care of the majority of it our family is going to lose right and what she didn't understand was just the basic math that like if you're supposed to support one third of the finances and somehow you cannot do it no more that means the family is not going to survive mm -hmm. Right. Imagine, guys, like if, if your mortgage bill every year, every month is three thousand dollars a month. 
right? And your wife was paying $1,000 of it because that's what she's saying, right? She's going to take care of one-third of it, and you take care of the other two-thirds, right? That's every bill, right? Power, electric, right? Gas, water, your food bill, your cell phone bill, your car payments, right? But just link of it as a common concept of the house bill, $3,000, right? You won't be able to make your mortgage, what you need to understand, ladies, is that the man needs to provide 100% of the financial load. And that's what Kevin's going to get them to understand, but it's it's a little excruciating. It's a little bit slow and painful. But, but no, for sure, the man has to do what he has to do. And what I'm getting is you really want the man to carry the bulk of the financial responsibility, and yours is discretionary. You don't want the family to fall if you don't bring it in. Correct. That's 10%. It's a tip. It's a tip. And why do you say that? Because you say have to be. So if well, when I say right now have to be, you got your own car note, your own rent, your own office. If you don't pay that, shit happens. Mm -hmm. You have to get it paid. You know that. So if you you got to figure out how to make it happen. But when a man comes into the equation, it tends to be a lot of women today tend to get real vague on what they're supposed to be have to do but it's real clear what he has to do mm -hmm. so if you don't want the family to be at any if you don't work don't i'm gonna let kevin finish if you don't this is to work, one whatever, of the whatever, most important topics that much modern men and women but especially the women don't understand one this is one of the main reasons right? why uh, relationships lower are class middle class upper class well, okay, he's talking about different classes now. So let's touch on that real quick, right? Guys, the trade. Mm -hmm. That's what we, all, we, talk, we talk about, our values. It always comes down to the truth mm -hmm. and the values, right? Yep. The goal is the truth, right? Kids, best outcome for kids, right? How do you get the best at? How do you get to the truth? Your values, right? Mm -hmm. The trade. The trade has always been the women's values for the men's values, mm -hmm. right? And so just that basic concept is always the key missing component in always these conversations, right? Mm -hmm. These women don't understand the trade, right? The man is supposed to bring in the fitness, the finance, mm -hmm. and the fame, right? The f Notice I emphasize finance, right? And then the women are supposed to bring in the fitness mm -hmm. and the femininity, yep. which really is the key factors that leads to the last value, which is your fel uh, fidelity, yeah. which is the childbearing, right? Yeah. Which leads to the truth. So all your values is supposed to be traded for his values. Mm -hmm. So you notice that you're not supposed to bring any finance to the table. To make the truth work the best, mm -hmm. the man is supposed to provide all the finance. And I get it. Nowadays, we live in a day and age where you, there's there's levels to it, right? Well, because sometimes if the husband doesn't make a lot of money, then that's why the Cor women sort of correct. pitch in. And sometimes it's not. Like just day and age, you know, sometimes women, we also have to work because we had to because she doesn't have someone to take care of her. Correct. Or but her kids if they're divorced or whatever else, but, you know. Yeah, but let's be honest, guys. With the marriage rate at 18% right now, well, then people just don't, you know, think about it's, it. It's both ways, honey. Yeah. I'm, if I'm, the man isn't supportive, he's not making money, he's a beta, yeah, the this, woman doesn't want that either. Yeah, she this, wants money. Th this is another video, but my point is you notice how the, 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 the statistics always reveals the truth. As much as we want to say, yes, yeah, like, you know, there are certain situations where unfortunately the man doesn't make enough money, and guess what happens? that situation doesn't work out mm -hmm. as much as we want to tell women and modern men like, Hey, it's okay. You, you know, you, you make less than the top 10% and you guys can come together and kind of like, you know, help support each other financially. What do we come to find out? Unfortunately, still that those marriages work, don't work. That's another video guys. I don't want to get into it too far, but you know, obviously just want to touch about that, that your values are not financed. The female values are not financed, right? It's the men's that's supposed to bring the finance you think your dating class is where you rank and where your men so he's talking to this girl how much is an upper class man earning hundred thousand dollars what class would you be Me or husband? both first your dating class what dating class is your man in I'm in middle class. okay that's where your man is no, that's me. okay where would your man be your partner your person My 
Okay, and how much does that person earn annually? Um, oh, I didn't even hear. Okay. Where, where would your dating class be? Where are you? Middle. Middle class? That's where you you would rank yourself as a, as a woman? Oh, I thought it was for my financials. Yeah, I'm asking, I'm, I'm saying if you put your put yourself out in the market. Okay, so he's trying to get them to rate their SMB, mm -hmm. which stands for sexual marketplace value. Mm -hmm. And then he's trying to ask them what would be their ideal mm -hmm. sexual marketplace value for the man. Mm -hmm. And once again, guys, it comes down to what I just stated earlier. The modern woman doesn't understand the trade anymore. They are immediately going to what they make. Mm -hmm. You do not provide the finance. Let me repeat that three times. You do not bring the finance. You do not bring the finance. You do not bring the finance. Okay, baby. I think Get got it now. that that power, that value out of your skull, mm -hmm. right? So all these women, their initial answer when, when he asked them, well, where do you put yourself in the sexual marketplace value? They immediately went to what they make. Well, that's when they're young, honey, okay? I understand. When no. they're young, they're like, okay, I need someone to take care of me. I want to see No, how, no, 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 know. mama. This would be asking you, how pretty are you? Mm -hmm. This is what he was trying to ask you. But see, mm -hmm. Kevin Samuels is so good at this. He asks the questions in a certain way to mm -hmm. reveal the woman's flaw. Mm -hmm. The way they answer shows to him mm -hmm. and to the rest of the audience mm -hmm. that they don't know what they're talking about. Okay. That's why his shows are so popular, okay, right? Next, and so that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to get them to understand that men don't rate you on what you make. Mm -hmm. Your SMV is based upon your beauty, your I looks. I understand, honey, and how feminine you are, okay? Correct. And if you had to put your dating class as a, as a ranking, where would you rank yourself? What do you look at yourself as? Are you lower, middle, upper? Oh. Dating is a Like you, yeah. like when you walk out in the world, when you, mm -hmm. well, no. It, I, <laughs> Well, it's kind of like, okay, you, okay, okay, people are, you ask women where you rank yourself all the time. There's a thing called sexual. Well, and because we, we tend to date in our class. So where do you think you, where's your dating class? Oh, right now, my dating class, like what I'm exposed to, like who I'm dating, I'm just middle class. And who are you? So that, that's the man. Oh, yeah, that's the man. And then where, where would you rank yourself? What about you? That's probably how I would rank myself. I feel like I'm upper class. Um, and, where, where, and where's the man? As far as who I would date, I would say it would be somewhere between middle and upper class. Okay. And what would you want your man to be? I would like, I would like my man to be upper. And how much is that? And how much is that person earn? Okay, so now we're talking financially. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, we're getting into it now. Okay, more than me. Uh -uh. Okay, um, so over a hundred thousand. Okay. What about you? What do you want your partner, your husband? <laughs> you said upper class. I said middle to upper class. <laughs> well, all right. Oh, that's a big. Uh, that's a that's a big. That, but yeah. that's a there's so, a big difference between Honda Accord and Mercedes. Mm -hmm. Well, I drive a Mercedes. That's, so you know there's a big difference. Mm -hmm. As far as financially, I would say somewhere between at least seventy k. You can earn as much as you want, but you have to earn at least seventy thousand. Seventy thousand. Yeah. How many children? How many children would you like to have? Two, three. And mm -hmm. what percentage of the family financial load do you want to have to be responsible for for a lifetime? Well, obviously, I would want to be required to do anything. I'm an entrepreneur and I do work. Um, if it ends up that way, where I have to contribute, I don't mind. But no, but no woman wants to take care. No. Of okay, I don't know what that. That's a long. Mm -hmm. That's a long answer to tell me nothing. So mm -hmm. she's what like, well, my money's my money, but I want the man to still pay for everything. Once again, it doesn't work that the modern way. women don't what know how to answer do this question. Be responsible mm -hmm. for, for their dental care, their health care, their college, their mm -hmm. tuition. I don't really have an answer for you, honestly. Well, if you had, if you... She if knows you know the answer. She's just been shamed so much to right. not answer. So we can extract right, because if out. she says, oh, my God. I want the man to take care of me. Oh my God, that's such a freaking shameful concept. Right? Ladies, I don't understand why you guys are so shamed. If you guys are so power, like I'm such a fierce woman, and you guys can't even answer that question, it shows me your insecurity, not how not how strong you are. My kids are getting a little older. Hey, I want to do a little thing on the side and make my own money. That's one thing. But when they're when you're young, your kids are little babies and toddlers and haven't 
halfway gone to high school, whatever, you know, you guys, your focus is on your child for their best outcome. And you're yes. And you should have a husband that is financially able to take care of that. You yeah. know? If he's not, and then yeah. you guys have to work, trust me, money will become an issue if someone can't support. I mean, we're not saying that when you guys do have troubles knocking at your door, you, you know, you can't help each other out. But most of the time, issues will arise if the man cannot take care of his family. And yeah. that's the whole fact. That's a truth. That's mm-hmm. nothing that's new out there, you know. And a woman, think about it. If you are aggressive and you're the only one making the money, do you think a man will feel like a man if he has to walk into your shadow all the time? He's not because a man is supposed to be the front line, not behind you, not beside you most of the time. He's supposed to be the front line. Just like when a man goes to war, you don't see his wife there. You see a man there. Yeah, a we're not gonna, we're, we're not going to be sitting here like, where's my wife? Why is you she know, not here backing kids. me up? No, because no. a man we is know, the front We know line. exactly what Just our roles when, should uh, be. When a robber breaks in, you're like, honey, you know, I mean, yes, when things yeah. push and shove, the robber is hurting my husband. Yes, I will try to do my best. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's your husband that's going to the front line. Correct. And that is a and, fact. And that's the way it should be. So, yeah. okay, well, we'll continue because I don't want to go through this because if you watch, you know, no, uh, but real quick, I did want to touch on something that you brought up, which is great. You brought it up is that is just like the woman has been shamed because of this concept, right? Mm-hmm. Like, oh, my God, I don't want to be subservient, right? Mm-hmm. Dependent upon the man because now, like, you know, he's going to make me like his slave, right? Because that's what all these women are fearful of, mm-hmm. right? I tell you ladies all the time, who is more the slave, Right. The, the, the woman that gets to sit at home, have her beautiful children, take care of the house, be nurturing, be loved, be kind, work on her fitness and stay pretty. Or the man that has to go bust his butt every day, go work 16, 17 hours a day, have gray hair. Right. Stress the hell out. Hey, right. I had my time, honey. I worked. Too no, then. my point is that's not shaming to me. There's mm-hmm. no shame in this is what I'm trying to tell you guys. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to say who has the better deal. Right. But what do you think I get out of it? I get a beautiful wife. I get lovely kids. I get them taken care of. That's the deal, guys. We got to understand that that's always been the deal. That has never changed. You guys have just been lied to in terms of what that deal is supposed to be. And you've been shamed to understand that deal. But my point is, who is more the slave? Right. Who who is the one that's committing to more like like women says, oh, well, you know, men, they won't commit to you. Right. Because they're controlling. Right. They, you know, they just want you to be at home and freaking taking care of them. who who is Think more committing. About Think about it, ladies. Like my husband and I said, you are your child's first teacher as a woman. OK, you teach your son how to treat a lady. How to choose a, the right path, to, recognize to recognize a lady, certain ladies. You Correct. Know? I mean, that's why you don't so, want a 304 for him for a wife. You know, right? That's the reasons why the the and wa- the, the, and the, woman. the mom, yeah, the way the, she holds herself, the way yeah. she carries herself, the way her appearance is, mm-hmm. is so important to the son. Yeah. Right. Just because just like my wife said, if you're out of shape and you just let yourself go as a mom and now you're ugly, fat, overweight and you don't freaking, you know, keep yourself in yeah. shape, right? And then if you have a 304 tendency, mm-hmm. if you're promiscuous, well, your you're... your son's going to be like, "Oh, well my mom's this way." Yeah. So, then it's you know, okay. uh, other women I... must be like that or this way, it must be okay mm-hmm. too. Well, right? And you don't want that, ladies. You don't want that. You are your child's first teacher, whether it's uh, your your daughter, your your son, and then of course, you know, later on your husband plays the role, you know, how he a uh, lady should be treated how a son should, you know, be a man. So every little step takes both parties, and that's what we're trying to tell you. It's both parties to raise a child, to give them the love, the nurture, and it's, to play their roles, to be a daughter, to be a son. It's this deal, guys. It's always know? this deal. There's always this trade. You do this, I do this. You do this, I do this, right? You do this right thing, I do this right thing. It's always that way. It's always going to be that way, mm-hmm. right? And if you want the best outcome, it has to be that way. Otherwise, what's going to end up happening is you're not doing anything, but then I'm doing all of this, or mm-hmm. you're doing it all and I'm not doing anything. One person's going to feel slighted. Mm-hmm. It's that common basic concept, guys. Someone, If you overpay for something, you're going to feel slighted. Yeah, so I don't right? know. I mean, 
I mean, you can take it to the grain of salt how you want to be, but this is how our views are, and then, you know. No, no, this is the truth. Yeah. This has nothing so, to do with our views. This is the truth, guys. We're, we're telling you the truth right now. Like, the average middle-class family in America earns $52,000 a year with two people working yeah. and two children. Yeah, I, think, oh. uh, I thought, well, my definition of middle class <laughs> is you by yourself. Yeah. Well, but, see, but see, and see, and see, yeah, not together. Okay. Yeah. And see, this is where the problem starts to come in because mm -hmm. we can all think what we like, but the numbers are what they are. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when you're going out into the market, it, it goes all over the place because you said you want your man to make at least $200,000. Mm -hmm. You care what race he is? Yes. What is? What do you want him to be? Black. Okay, what percentage of black men earn over $100,000 or more? Not a lot. I guess we, I guess you and me. I'm asking. I don't know just, just guess. I mean, I have my hopes, so you know I'm just saying, like, love check out our I 10 versus 90 you. video, guys, where we well, broke that down. But the thing is, it's not, a, it's not, hold on, hold on, I'm getting, hold on, 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 hold on. It, I, it's not a trick question, but when you go out into the world, if you want to want to have somebody that you want to be with, this matters. You don't go to a, you don't go to a store or to buy anything you want and your hope is there. You kind of understand where it should be. So what's the likelihood of you finding the kind of man that... Okay, so that was a real good statement that he wants. And this is the other thing mm -hmm. that modern women just seem to fail to realize. Like, mm -hmm. they just think that they're going to walk around, like, just, you know, just do your everyday thing, right? Yeah. Go to the grocery store, uh, you, you know, go to school, no. go to your job. And then all of a sudden, this person, like, just literally... You know, no. this top 10% man, right? Mm -hmm. Six feet tall, over $200,000 a year, right? Mm -hmm. Is all of a sudden just going to show up in your everyday life. Nope. Ladies, nope. right? Just like men have to go out there and get it, you you're going to have to put in same. some work and go out and get it. You, you got to go do the same thing. If yeah, you, you got to figure know. out where these men are. Yeah, it's called right? uh, research. Yeah. Okay, research the top tier. And then you got to research. Are they still single? Correct. Okay. Do they have a girlfriend? Do they have people on the side? Whatever else, you got to do a lot of research. Okay. Correct. And then you have to do be you, there at the time and let, place let's, to let's, even try to meet. Let, them. Let's be honest. Do you guys go to like a freaking Damon Buster's you know? and then expect that there's gonna be a bunch of like millionaire CEOs just chilling at Damon Buster's? No. Right. Or are you gonna go to some high end freaking little uh uh you know uh little bar right oh, yeah. right where it's like you know forty fifty dollars a drink. Mm -hmm. The chances of someone who's well to do at that, you know, yeah. really expensive place is gonna be a lot higher than you going to some dive yeah. bar in the middle of nowhere, mm -hmm. right? My yeah. point is you gotta do your effort, put your yeah. time in and mm -hmm. figure out where these men are if you really wanna do that, right? Yeah. And that's just half of the battle, right? We haven't even talked about like, you know, what your appearance would be, how should you carry yourself, how should you talk, right? Yeah. How do you flirt to these men, right? Mm -hmm. But my point is like he's exactly what's right. He's like if if you're trying to go buy a Hon uh, a Mercedes, mm -hmm. right? But then you you keep going to the Hyundai dealership, the Honda dealership, nope. and the Kia dealership, how are you gonna find the Mercedes there? Yeah, you gotta find right? your group. I mean, you gotta find the group. You gotta do your research. I'm sorry to say, right. you, you you know, there's those women who snatch like millionaires. Well, because they're doing the right thing. Yeah, they know where those they they know how to hunt those millionaires correct. or billionaires. They're going to the circle, ladies. Where those men and are, and they're spending money. Correct. They're spending money to up their image. Their okay, parents. Good, their parents, right. the way they carry their themselves. Clothes. The way they eat, their etiquette, you know, whatever they go to else. Classes, they right? Yeah. That teaches them how you to walk, how to work. talk, it's... how to cook, mm -hmm. right? How to clean. Oh, yeah. You all those do things. All that. You have to have a certain image and etiquette for these CEO wife that you want to be or whatever else because they're not going to just jump on your lap, okay? You're not going to get that. Okay, don't have that little emphasis like, you know, Tiger Woods where he just, you know, oh, got the nanny. Well, guess what? That nanny had a hookup to be Tiger Woods. It's a nanny. This, like, she had to even be in the right place to be his nanny. Yeah, no. Okay, she yeah. got hooked up from, you know, yeah. the friend, okay, to yeah. get there. I mean, you, gotta you, gotta, you guys got to read. The point is you got to be in the right circles. Yeah. You, you're not going to expect it just to fall on your lap. No. You know? There you go. The race of man you want. What? How many men in this country, period? It's the number's the same no matter what race. Well, I'm on military duty. I'm kind of diverse, so I don't really look just mm. like, okay. I, 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 I like to say I'm also not 
What per- okay, but if you were in this country. No plan. No nope. sense of purpose. Nope. What percentage of men earn over six figures? $100,000 or more. Mm-hmm. Okay. Give me a number out of 100%. She said these young ladies you have not That's done their that. research, no nothing. Okay. They don't know. They don't well, know. I'm, I'm, they just they just threw okay, it out there. Like, I that. want this, I want and, that. And and, and, and this is and this and expect is the, them to come, and, right? Just to come. Yeah, to them. and and this is the sad thing, guys. It's the sad. the matrix is not going to tell you. Mm-hmm. Like it actually is trying not to tell you. It's actually trying to tell you the opposite. Mm-hmm. Right? Because it's telling you just to go to school, right? Get your degree, mm-hmm. right? Get a job, go work for them. Right. Mm-hmm. Go get a freaking school job. Right. Be a, a teacher. Right. Because that works for the state. Right. Go get a freaking like, you know, a nursing job. You work for the health care department, health care. Yeah, but then you right? miss your boat, ladies, because you're, right. you're old. You're getting older. And, you know, the guy that wants that young 20, 21, 22 person to to start dating in a few years. He probably dated you from 20 or 21 to 23, 24. Then he wants to tie the knot around 24 to 25 because he's ready to settle down to have kids. Yeah. Right. So now you you guys just missed your boat on that. And then you wonder why. Well, why are these guys that make a lot of money isn't coming after me? Well, you're already 27, 30, 35 years old. He's like, well, sorry. Yeah. My advice. Why to would you- I want you when I can get a 22, 23, yeah. 24 year old and yeah. have kids with her? My, right my advice to you ladies is so, when you were in school, right, when you were in college from 19 to 22, 19 mm-hmm. to 23, right, this four year college right Mm -hmm. that's when you should have researched Mm -hmm. to find out where these men were Mm -hmm. and now you actually are able to go there so before you get your career Mm -hmm. started right before you actually get into a job and get your career and before your age starts getting closer to the danger zone Mm -hmm. like kevin's talking about you should have found the bars that these men are hanging out the restaurants the galas the events right whatever these things that these men are Mm -hmm. at right and then approach yourself and have a game plan on how can I attract myself to these men. But right? I will understand. You're going to tell us, well, you know, I can't afford those nice, you know, restaurants. I can't afford those nice, beautiful no. dresses. You well, get invited you to them. Yeah, you got to You got to. You just got to be there. Ways. You just got to. These make an men appearance. pay for everything. You got to right? make an appearance. Right. Remember, okay? guys, this is the trade. This is the trade. The trade is supposed to be the man sees you. You've kept your fitness level good, mm-hmm. right? You've learned how to carry yourself, right? Have the right hair, have the right makeup, wear the right clothes, right? Mm-hmm. And your body's in good shape, right? You're in the presence of these men, mm-hmm. right? Those men see that. They're going to take care of the rest. They're going to bring their value to the table, which is the finance, mm-hmm. the fame. They have the fame. So that means they have the network connections. Yeah. Oh, hey, do you want to go to this gala with me next yeah. week? The mayor's going to be there. All my doctor friends are going to be there, yeah. right? All my lawyer friends are going to be there. Oh, you know, we're having a business meeting with all these owners, right? Mm-hmm. You That's get in. You get in for free. You don't gotta pay for anything. Networking, ladies. High class exactly. Networking. But how do you? You just attract get foot and, in the door. And, and and attract and obviously put yourself in the the proximity mm-hmm. of these men to get asked to that. It's called do your right? research. Research. Right. So, okay, next, honey. Yeah, well, let's be defensive about. It. Is there an issue here? <laughs> okay, so that was the end of the video, guys. Right. Mm-hmm. I think the main takeaway from this video for me, honey, mm-hmm. and you can maybe my my main takeaway from this video was the whole. Once again, modern women under, have don't, lost sight of understand the deal. They don't understand. Right? You, it's, once again, guys, it comes down to the truth and then our values, and it's the exchange of that value. Mm-hmm. you got to learn that basic concept. Yeah. If you guys need a rehashing on it, watch our previous, you know, our past our videos where videos. we break down the men's value and the women's, the women's value, value, right? Yeah. And, just, and just ingrain that in your head, right? And just understand that as a woman, you bring these values. Mm-hmm. As a man, they bring these values. Yep. Okay? All right, guys. Okay. Check you out in the See next video. You. Bye. Bye.